Okay, so I'm filling up King of Water 9.5. takes a little bit for it to come out. Today where I'm going to measure the ORP, that's the oxidation reduction potential of King of Water versus the other waters like bottled water and also tap water. I think that's enough. Okay. I'm going to take this water. our king of water and then this is my ORP meter the oxidation reduction potential meter I'm gonna fill up tap water filter tap water and then this is bottled water all right I think we just have three waters that's all we need for now, so um, the ORP of a water, when it's positive, it means that it's oxidizing. So this is the filtered tap water, as you can see. The number is climbing slowly. I've done this in the past and it's about 250, so it's about positive 185, 186, currently climbing. Gotta give it a little bit of time for it to see how high it'll go. So when you get a chance, you would want to probably look up oxidation and antioxidant and see what the difference is. Basically, you don't want to oxidize. That's how we get older. And that's how we age. Aging is oxidizing. Oxidizing is aging. <laughs> yeah. So basically, you get the point. So we're going to move over to the bottled water. And this is also positive, and it's climbing. It goes all the way up to 260, 270. So when you look at bottled water, it is actually oxidizing. So that's not good. So one of the properties of the canyon water is that it is antioxidant, as you will see now. So let's say this is 215. And then moving that over to the canyon water, and you'll see immediately it's negative 480 and climbing. So it's basically one of the most antioxidant drinks you can have. It keeps climbing all the way up to 600. Basically, if you're drinking this water over time, you're really gonna feel the antioxidant properties.